The Fix the Country movement has petitioned the Office of the President to remove the chairperson of the Electoral Commission for engaging in what it described as ethnic exclusion in denying the people of Santro Kofi, Akpafu, Lipe and Lolubi of the Uti region from voting to elect a parliamentary representative in the 2020 election. The 46 petitioners expect the presidency to convey the document to the Chief Justice for action within two weeks. Primarily based on the facts of disenfranchising the people of, of Santro Kofi, Likpe, Akpafu, and Lodobi. And, and, and our case is that there's no constitutional basis for which they would have been denied the right to vote. We consider their denial of the right to vote as an administrative coup d'etat, in that it has, you know, it has upended a part of the constitution regarding to this person's right to vote, in particular Article 42 of the constitution. You know, a lot of people have talked about a sense of ethnic exclusion. And people have talked about if this were to happen in certain areas of Ghana, we wouldn't have been treated in the same way. So our case then is for the Supreme Court to look into it, whether, you know, the deliberate nature of the denial of their right to vote, whether or not there's any legal basis for doing so. And if not, we believe that the facts in themselves and the totality of the circumstances meet the threshold in Article 146 for stated misbehavior and incompetence. Uh, under the constitution now this is without you know regard to whatever steps that would be taken or should be taken in remedying the constitutional breach which is still ongoing but as far as the constitution is concerned we need to understand that the harm done is irremediable because first first of all it has been a year several decisions have been taken in parliament the people of sal have been denied the right to participate in deliberations of parliament you know, the people of SAL in a petition to the Chief uh, to the Electoral Commission have described their status as being having been made a colony within Ghana because now they are subject to rules made by people who they have not had a chance to participate in. So we think that for the constitutional values to be restored, uh, we need to hold people accountable for this in order to ensure that public office holders have the requisite fear of the constitutional documents.